I better get to keep it. it. Better not be a one-time use. Okay, so there's several things. <gasps> hey, everybody. Welcome to For All Mankind's End 2 of Resident Evil 3. So, the game itself is a good time. I mean, if you want a Resident Evil 3 experience with that remake that they did for Resident Evil 2, I and mean, this is it. It is a bit shorter, but so was the original Resident Evil 3. Like, if you compare Resident Evil 3 to Resident Evil 2, it's kind of the same concept, right? Resident Evil 3, I feel like, was always meant to just kind of be an expansion to Resident Evil 2, but a very good experience standalone on itself, right? So, the game is a bit shorter. About six hours was my first playthrough. It was fun. Uh, some new enemies in the game, of which in the normal game modes isn't so bad, but you can get all the way up to Inferno, and let me tell you the amount of times you can get, like, combo attack to death in Inferno. I mean, it's a challenge, so prepare yourself for it, because it is 100% worth playing, but just be ready. There are new enemies, um, along with old enemies. I was happy to see uh, certain enemies come back that I didn't think were going to be there, so it was kind of a nice surprise to see them there. The Nemesis stalking mechanic is very present, uh, more so in the beginning of the game than the latter half, and I know that was a big complaint, I think, with a lot of people, was, you know, his presence wasn't as ominous as it was in the OG one, and I would agree, but to be honest with you, I didn't even think about it, it didn't even register until I already beat the game, which to me means the pacing of the game and how it all fit together worked, and I got the experience, honestly, that I was hoping for out of it. Definitely some twists and differences in this versus the original one, not bad, but they're there, and for veterans, you'll probably see those and notice those and maybe think about it for a minute. But my overall experience of the game is I had a lot of fun. There is a good amount of replay value. You do get Resident Evil Resistance in it, so for that 60 bucks, you are technically getting two games, whether you want the multiplayer one or not. It's there. I think they did a swell job. I'm super happy with it. I'm still going through it myself, and I plan to go through it a lot more. So hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful to make sure, but I promise you, if you like Resident Evil 2 Remake, you'll like this. Get out there, kill some zombies. Thanks, guys.